Mate, I can't believe it's late November already. It seems like it was just yesterday that we met up for the first time. How are you holding up? I'm sure the season has worn you down to some degree, but remember, the greatest athletes have that little bit extra that gets them through the toughest moments. Looking forward to seeing what you have in you.
today from NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas. It's week 12 of the NFL on EA Sports. Deshaun Watson and the Houston Texans taking on James Morgan and the New York Jets. John, a wonderful fall afternoon in the state of Texas. The roof is open and we've got football from NRG Stadium in Houston. The scene from a few moments ago, this crowd enthusiastically cheering on their Texans as they emerge from the locker room. And we're just about ready for football as the Texans get set to match up with the New York Jets. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at this Texan ball club entering play here. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. The numbers for James from last week just downright unbelievable. I mean, when you amass that many yards, I don't know what else to say. Personally, I thought it was a game for the ages for him. Ripped off some long runs in that contest, didn't he? And got his man complete. Ooh, he's running, he's running. And all the way in, touchdown, New York. Jamison Crowder, his ninth touchdown of the season. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they, on paper, Charles, no doubt they have the edge in this one. They are sitting with the AFC elite. And on the other side, they're down toward the bottom of the AFC. But he's got a man complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A really good pickup of 28 yards. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Morgan looks to throw it. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Landry again, the intended target, but it'll be second down. From the gun, it's Morgan. James has got it, complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Morgan rolling to his right. He'll let this go for the end zone. And that is caught. And the record is his. It's a touchdown. If you didn't know it, it won't surprise you to find out that this team leads the league in scoring. They've been a quick strike team all season long. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two? win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get the number one seed so you get that first round by and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully. And that's caught by Landry. He's got a Jets touchdown. Carter Landry. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first and 10, it's Morgan. 
He finds his man complete. It's James. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 46. Throwing from the gun is Morgan. Dancing with that. He will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. Ross Blacklock coming right up the gut. Gets in there for a loss of nine. Forced out to his left. He will find the rookie from Ole Miss, Elijah Moore. And he's finally taken down, but not before he reaches the 14. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Ross Blacklock able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's James. Touchdown, Jets. A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Jets will extend. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offense's sails because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Being chased out left. And now he'll fire deep downfield for James. A leap, and he's got it. He got it. First down, Morgan with it. Steps away to his left. He's going to go up top for the end zone. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. A great effort there. On his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdown. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They are just putting things together so well here, drive after drive. They really have captured the momentum, haven't they? They've taken momentum and pretty much not just giving him a jersey, but a seat on the bench as well. Whatever do you need, you've got it because the way they're stringing things together and creating that distance between them and their opponent is really hard to narrow that gap. And the other part is they're taking their spirit away from them too. Yeah, now they're just looking to add to that total. On second down now, it's James. And he's up past the 10 to about the 12. Four yards the gain and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit him over the top unsuccessfully. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And now possession will go over inside. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Morgan sets up to throw on first down. And now he'll let this one go deep, back over the middle. A fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. A big pickup of 38. That was a fantastic job of keeping that play alive. He had a chance to tuck it. I thought he might. They work on those situations all the time. This is coached being able to keep your eyes downfield, keep the play alive, 
and not automatically run with the football? How about that lesson absorbed, and it turned into a big play? Throwing now is Morgan. Another first down, this time on a gain of 19. His throw caught right around the six. And the Jets are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. A great play there as the first half is winding down. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. And that's why he spent a first-round draft pick on a running back. Not for just the fancy runs, but these dirty, gritty third and ones, third and twos. That's why you draft him. On first down, James. Yeah, they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. The 71 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big one on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. So a first and ten now in Houston territory at the 26-yard line. Zone. Touchdown, Jets. A great effort there. 26 yards. And the Jets are going to add on to their lead. And let's count them up now. One, two, three, four touchdown receptions for him in this game. And just one shot at the NFL record. What a great... Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and ten. James. And he's upended at the 33 following a good pickup of eight. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They'll keep it on the ground. It's James, and he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. the ground it's James a beautiful fake and they'll work this down to the 40 yard line tackled there give him 12 yards there and the Jets have a first yeah another good run there he's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon and that last carry it puts him over 100 yards now for the day and some room to maneuver and he's gonna get this down near the 20 yard line a good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Here's Morgan to throw. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. 
Second and ten. Thanks for tagging along with us here from Houston, Texas. Operating from the gun. Morgan escaping the pressure right. That's pulled in the veteran Carter Landry. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. Back to throw. Morgan. That's to Davis. He's got it. Touchdown, New York. Corey Davis with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Jets find a way to stretch their lead. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And this one has gone pretty well to form. They've come in, had little problem thus far, and now they'll try to polish things off in the fourth. They'll run on first down. It's James. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And the offense moving quickly to the line. On first down. James able to power through and he'll have a Jets first down as he's got this up to the 45 yard line. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Steps away. Throw left side complete. That's James. And able to break one tackle but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 30. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Morgan on first and 10. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Land again the intended target, and it's second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Jonathan Grenard just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Man open here is Crowder. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Buying time to his left. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. From eight yards out. And the Jets are looking to make it two straight as they... Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on downs, the most recent example, and now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dap. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless. Take care of the ball on the way out. And he'll have a Jets first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. 135 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. 
There's a beautiful throw there, and he's been sensational the entire game, moving it around, spreading it, hitting the right guys. And look, under normal situations, partner, I would expect him to come out of the game now. They've got it in hand. But you and I have been around this league a long time, and every time we ask head coaches about it, hey, why don't you take your quarterback out when the game's in hand? They just kind of give us that look like that's what he's paid to do. So it's a very unusual situation. I'd want him out. They tend to leave him in. That's going to set them back five yards. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Looking to throw. Morgan. That's going to be caught by Crowder. It's a Jets touchdown. Jamison Crowder. His 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. And the Jets are closing in on win number. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll run on first down. It's James. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. The last run got six, now second and four. They'll keep it on the ground. It's James, and he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. And quickly, they get to the line. On first down, James. Zach Cunningham leads leading tackler a year ago in to make the stop. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. That one looks like he'll throw here. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Airing one out for Crowder. Launches deep. A jump ball, and this is caught. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Back to throw. Morgan dancing to his left. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He was looking for Landry that time. That'll bring up second down. Throwing again. Morgan. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, partner, when a team's up this big, this late in the game, I always wonder, what's their motivation? Because if it's me, I'm thinking about pulling on the reins a little bit. But for them, I don't think it's in their DNA. It's not in their head coach's makeup at all. I think his opinion is, you stop up. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow.
So for the Jets, they get win number 10 on the year as they move to 10-1. and one. And they'll return home next week to take on the Philadelphia Eagles. Meanwhile, for the Texans, they've fallen out of things now as they sink to 3-8. and eight. And they'll have a chance at redemption next week at home against the Indianapolis Colts. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.